Hello Aries, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and if you're new, welcome to the channel. And if you've come back, my Cyber Angel, then welcome and thank you for coming back and thank you for your support to this channel. Um, there's a little bit of information, there is a little um, eye um, in the corner in the corner of uh, just around here and there you will find all the information if you click on that then you will be taken straight through to the website charliesangelstarot.com and have a scout around and have a look at the different uh, readings on offer the other information like email etc uh, is just below this video in the description box this is your reading for the um, 24th to the 1st of March. This is your reading for the 24th of February to the 1st of March 2020. Now, uh, there's also super chat and super stickers available um, in the live chat. And if you would like to, new people, if new viewers, if you would like to become a cyber angel, then please join us in the live. I give out free cards uh, every night and there's also the super chat for specific questions. So let's get started. On the 24th, you have the Knight of Cups. This is a knight that bring, knights and pages always brings news. So you might be receiving news. The news could be a job offer or uh, it could be an offer of friendship or a passion or a love, a new love coming into your life. This could be a Cancer, a Scorpio or a Pisces, Aries. So you might be meeting the love, a new love and the love of your life because they are very loving, caring, nurturing, sexy and sensual people. They've also, they could be uh, emotionally and intuitively um, and psychically uh, connected because they the emotions is connected to the psyche and the intuitive they're very intuitive people they're very sensitive people okay um, to um, confirm this or clarify this card we have the moon and again this is water the moon represents Pisces so you might even meet a Pisces. So Pisces is quite prominent or you might be getting news from a Pisces. You are in the spotlight because the sun, the moon and the star are shine uh, are, um, spotlights. They shine upon something. They give you a light on your path like the moon does. So continue on that path because that's the right path. But listen to your intuition. That is also what this card is saying. There are things that you might not know because you've got the dark side to the moon, so you might have to do some more research. And that could be with relation to the news that you're going to receive, or perhaps the offer. You are in the spotlight, so somebody has got an eye on you and has picked you out for this particular job. If it is a news on a, a job application, perhaps there is a headhunter. And a headhunter means that somebody hunts heads, um, a, a, a company uh, is hire, hires somebody to find somebody for a specific um, uh, job. So perhaps somebody has um, seen your CV, your curriculum vitae and thought this is the person for that firm. So you might be receiving news or it could be um, a love offer. Lovely, it's very exciting. Okay, Aries, in the middle of the week, you've got the King of Pentacles. And here in this deck, you don't see the men because this deck highlights the femininity in each of us and the woman. Not being feminist, I mean, not being feminist, okay? It just complements, this author has complemented the female side of us. And I think it's an amazing deck. It still shows that they are there and we do love men, but it highlights that this is the emotional, psychic, um, intuitive deck. 
it brings out a special feeling and vibe. Okie dokie. So if you have, you've, you might meet the King of Pentacles. That could be a Virgo. That could be a Capricorn. That could be a Taurus, uh, Aries. <coughs> Excuse me. Or you might have the Midas touch. That means that everything that you touch or that you invest in, like the King of Pentacles, will turn out into gold. It will bear fruit for on the long term. As he works for uh, durability and long term. He's also a very steady, like the water sign, he's a very steady, uh, easygoing um, character because he goes for long term. He doesn't want anything quick and fast like the fire signs or the air signs. But remember, our charts are not just a sun sign. We are made up of many things, the rising sign, the moon sign, the sun sign and planets and other things in our chart. So if this reading doesn't resonate with you, then please have a look at your rising sign or your moon sign. At the end of the week, we have the page of wands. And like I said, it could be a job. Well, the wands stand for action, stands for creativity and fiery person. Quick, 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 but they are also logical, so <clears throat> uh, you might be getting definitely some news about a hobby or about work. You will be celebrating as you have the Three of Cups. Okay, this news could come from a young person, or you could be meeting a young person, uh, like a teenager, this could be your child, or a friend of your child, or a, um, a, a child of a friend of yours, a teenager, so around between 16 to 25, I would say, that might bring you news. Then, at the end, in the weekend, you've got the Six of Pentacles, and this is balancing things. It's also my give and take card. <coughs> This could be that if you are less fortunate, you might be getting a gift Aries, or you might be more fortunate and giving to sharing or giving money to the less fortunate. You could also be giving a lending ear or a helping hand, or vice versa. You might be getting uh, a helping hand from a young person. Um, or they might be giving you a listening ear. Just something as simple as mowing the lawn. Some young person, from a, a child from a friend of yours, or the next door neighbour, could be mowing the lawn for you, giving you a helping hand, or painting or, uh, a sitting room or a bedroom, or clearing out the garage. <coughs> got this dreadful cold. Okay, and you've got the Two of Pentacles. And the Two of Pentacles describes the Six of Pentacles. So there is balance, a factor of balancing, perhaps making decisions whether you should give money or to this less fortunate person. If you cannot trust this person and you know if you won't get it back, then don't give the money. Perhaps you might be getting a helping hand to balance your finances and how to do bookkeeping, something like this. Or perhaps you might be getting help to sort out your uh, your time or your balance sharing time uh, between home and work. Perhaps you've got young children that um, and you are working until half past five or uh, infrequent hours. So you might have to have help from somebody to take care of your children when they come out of school. Just something as simple as that. But you will find the balance at the end of the week, in the weekend. The overall energy is the emperor. The emperor. I hope you can see. It is very, very 
shiny at the moment, but that is the end value. Again, you see the back of the throne. So you cannot see the man, because the man is the emperor. The empress is the uh, lady. So Aries, you might meet an other Aries, or you might seek um, advice from an other Arian. And uh, it could be a father figure, or an older man, which is mature, I mean, sorry, not old, a mature man that could be a bookkeeper to balance your finances. Um, the, uh, you are going from the two to the three. You are getting recognition. Like I was talking in the beginning of the week, you have got recognition. You've got the three of pentacles. You're not the apprentice anymore. You are fully fledged and trained. You're an expert. So that could be relating to the offer of the job. Of a job. And again, it, the sun is really bugging me. Sorry about this. Sorry about that. I don't mean that I'm ungrateful that the sun is shining. But if you can't see the pictures, then it's not very nice for the viewer. Okay, and that's why I always have to think of uh, you and the cards and myself and everything that happens around it. I like the surroundings just to be perfect so that also the angels and other things I can feel and see and converse with my guides. So I said you're fully fledged now and you've got recognition. So that relates back to the job. And this job could be for long term and will bring you in a good amount of money and stability. Now we've got the answers of the angels. And if you do follow me uh, in the live sessions, then you know what uh, the cards, the answer of the angels. Because this is one of the cards that I uh, give away to everybody because they're easy, they give it an answer and they, they let you know what the energy is about or an answer to a question of yours. And Aries, you have within the next few weeks. What you asked about will happen this month or soon thereafter. Your patience will be rewarded. So weeks could be two to four, five weeks. So your answer to your question you will see or get within a very short time then the last card that we have is surrender to denial now if anybody doesn't know what denial is that means you don't want to face the fact or issues or at hand or that you have questions when you think you don't have questions. So surrender to denial. Accept people and situations exactly as they are, without denying the difficulties. So in other words, don't be blindfolded, don't be blind, or don't walk around with blinkers on and deny oh, that you can't see or admit there could be difficulties within a situation or with people or relationships. So I'll read that again. Accept people in situations exactly as they are, without denying the difficulties. Then you can see things clearly and make the best decisions. So take that blindfold off. And this is a lady with a blindfold on her face, as you can see. And she is wondering, where am I going to go? Well, this could be relating to the weekend. You um, partnerships, the two of coins, money problems. So don't deny that there could be money problems because one of you isn't working. Or perhaps it could be something as simple that the other is jealous of you because you've got a good paid well job coming in or you have one. And he, or the balance between home housework and the office, uh, or the, the, the job that you do. There's so many different vocations. But we need to always respect each other and also find the balance in the relationship and respect that, we, that a woman can do uh, housework and go out to work. And that's why this beautiful deck 
um, relates into this reading even more. It just goes to show that men can also do housework and look after the children and find the balance between house and work. And that's why I, I always say, when I get these two cards, perhaps you have to find balance between home, home and work. Because in one way, the women are pushed down or uh, regarded as not so fantastic as a man. And on the other hand, the men aren't complimented enough um, if they do uh, housework and look after the children. So I think both situations need a little bit more recognition and respect. And of course, there are those men that think the old fashioned way. Perhaps this is a wake up call for uh, an Aryan man or a, a man that you area, Aries go out with to get his um, act together and share more with you in the house or vice versa. Whether it's whether you are the man Aries or whether it's you are a woman Aries. Perhaps this is a wake up call for your partner. Okay. I think this is a, an amazing reading. So don't, you know, don't deny uh, that he is capable of more and that he or she should um, put uh, his, pull his hands out of his sleeves, as they say, and give you a helping hand. Share and share alike. I think this is a beautiful message and it's very clear. Remember, I go live every day and please come and join us if you're a new viewer and you're more than welcome. Please share this with family and friends and give us a thumb up or an other kind of reaction. And please do go and have a scout around on the website. Take care and be blessed.